what to do after receiving a prophecy. Let's find out in this video. I have provided many valuable teachings and the links are provided in the description below. Please don't forget to visit those links. When you receive a prophecy, the first thing you should do is pray about it. Yes, ask God for confirmation and guidance on what to do next. In the book of James 1.5 it says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. Through prayer, you can seek clarity and understanding about the prophecy. Next, compare the prophecy with the Bible. The Bible is our ultimate guide and any true prophecy will align with its teachings. In the book of Acts 17.11 tells us that the barons were praised for examining the scriptures daily to see if what Paul said was true or not. So we should do the same with any prophecy we receive, making sure it matches God's word. It's also helpful to discuss the prophecy with trusted Christian friends or leaders. Proverbs 11.14 says, Where there is no guide, a people fall, but in an abundance of counselors there is safety. Seeking advice from mature believers can give you more insight and help. Also, they can pray with you and offer wisdom about your prophecy or prophetic word. Sometimes a prophecy might require patience and waiting. Not all prophecies come to pass immediately. In the book of Hebrews 6 12 encourages to imitate those who through faith and patience inherit what had been promised. Trust in God's timing and be patient. Keep doing what God has called you to do, even if the prophecy takes time to be fulfilled. Last and finally, act in faith. Yes, you heard right. Act in faith. If the prophecy calls for a specific action or change in your life, be obedient to God's direction. In James 2.26, it says, Faith without works is dead. This means that our faith should lead to action. If God gives you a prophetic word, He will also give you the strength and guidance to carry it out. Trust Him and take the steps He shows you. 